Um, uh, hey. Um, hey, we're back. Before we do anything, I'm gonna go read that. <laughs> if I can. Cool. So where... Um, I don't know if you can. It would be in Save Machine Records. Oh, no, you know what? Model number two, you had it. Oh. You got it. Operation of Model Number 2 in the Yorha Project. After the first descent of the Yorha prototypes, Attacker 2, A2, was the sole unit to return alive. Despite mediocre results during her simulations, upon analysis of her stored... Man, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be me with the recording session if... Oh, in God. Auto, in, I, thought, in, I thought that was auto, the game. <laughs> if an automobile didn't ruin I, everything. I thought that um, was the fucking game. <laughs> Uh, A2 was the sole unit to return alive, despite <gasps> mediocre results during her simulations. Whoa. Upon analysis of her stored personality data, it was discovered she possesses excellent analytical and decision-making skills in extreme circumstances. As reported separately, we will install this personality data in the new lot of E-models and use them for the security protection of this project. Dude, fucking E-models? You've heard about E-models before. The only reason I know about that is because of that side quest I did. Because <laughs> you did a side quest. Oh, that's awesome. If you awesome. didn't do that side quest, you wouldn't know about them. So, um, any E-model that you've come across is based on A2. Oh, that's sick. How the fuck do they have this information? Koshi. Um, why are you oh, here? Oh shit, Koshi! Oh, excuse me. Get him. How the fuck yeah, do I... Yeah. Oh, I guess I can... Yeah, yeah. yeah you got him. Oh, you got you got one. Whoa. Oh yeah, get that tail. I I'm trying. Oh, you're trapped. Okay, we're good. Uh -oh, that's them, not... You got one of them newfangled weak points. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Follow him. Where? What? Guess where? Not down there. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. You're going down there. Get in that room. I don't want to go down there. Guess what? Too bad. It's the only way. That's that, no. Listen, that's unexplored territory. <laughs> I understand. We can't go down there. Go in there. Oh, this is like this is unheard of. This is like a one of Nier's biggest secrets. What's in that door? <laughs> What's in Aaron's basement? <laughs> what the fuck? It's this. Um, okay. There's a thing. Oh, God. Alert. Enemy hacking detected. Proposal. Retreat immediately. Um, well, I'm too far in. Four, two. Nope. Nope. Um, I don't like Kill that. Kill it. Kill it. I'm, I'm killing. Oh, this is really weird. Okay, we're going. You're good. Okay, girls. How you doing? Good to see you again. Number two. What should we call you A2 now? This does bring back memories. Though the concepts like us, time has little meaning. Still, when we wiped out your forces, it made quite the impression on us. Your attacker model number two. An experimental disposable group created as a test lab for Project Yorha. Shut up! So that answers how long this has been going on. Since the since, first models yeah, were made. Since the very beginning. Since the very beginning, in fact, these entities, this this concept, has been has been controlling Project Yorha since its inception. Yeah, that's what I created. Gathered. Project Yorha. It is also responsible for all of A2's friends being killed in yeah. the stage play, Yorha. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It is responsible for all of that. There's so many of them. 
It's just, that's the one that matters. Yorha's the one that matters. Um, I don't know if you knew about it. Um, you can actually get all the information on Yorha that you need in game. Really? What now? Utilize the enemy's logical learning function to formulate a weakness. I don't know what that means. This part has serious concerns about Unit A2's cognitive abilities. Shut up and explain it already. Set strategy would interrupt the enemy's logic circuits, causing a computational delay. Meaning what? Do not destroy the enemy. Huh? Striking at the logic circuit requires a certain number of enemies to remain extant for a certain period of time. Oh, what the hell? So I just leave them? Hold off, is what he's suggesting. Do you listen to pod 042? I have no reason to not. He's a good pod. I believe him more than 153, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you can get all the information on Yorha that you need. Yeah. Um, they, do you remember that computer in the resistance camp that someone is always standing in front of? It's right behind an enemy. Uh, yeah. If you talk to an enemy enough times as A2, um, she will eventually say, you can look at it. Oh, and in there awesome. is... The entire story, really? Of Yorha. Oh, the whole, shit! The now, whole story. Now I gotta do So you do will that. be able to. You will definitely want to read it after this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty. No, it's a very sad story. Yeah. But uh, it's all there. And it's all told from Anemone's point of view. Oh, that's awesome. Hypothesis: The enemy's defensive system is prompting an evolution of its logic. Foolish androids. Why do you resist? All things end with accepting death, do they not? You're causing it to in, in to evolve its logic circuits. It's it's rapidly evolving its thinking uh, process because you're letting it live. Yep. That's creepy. Yeah, I know. Not a fan. I'm not a fan either. I was not. We are one, and yet we are many. We are finite, and yet we are infinite. We are the embodiment of the perfect being. Hypothesis. The enemy has become aware of the diversity of life. Ah, I see it. That's a crazy hypothesis. <laughs> Forward to the future. Consciousness data saturation rate, 100%. Hypothesis. The enemy's consciousness has begun to fracture. Ow. Please, good. please do. Hang on. Alright, cool. We need more evolutionary pressure. If we allow this android to continue living, we can create even more hardship for ourselves. Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. We disagree. This android is dangerous. It must be destroyed immediately. Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. Do you truly? Are you fucking fighting yourselves? What the? Um. I mean, sure. They're acting like humans. That's fucking weird. I'm not getting in there. It it became so complicated that it fractured into and just fought itself. That's radical. And it's destroying itself. I mean, yeah, go for it. You can get in there and. Help I, I don't along. wanna. I don't even know who to aim for. <laughs> Any of them. Alright. You can get in there. It's fine. Yeah.
Now, maybe that's an anticlimactic <laughs> battle. Oh well, I'm sure there's more. But yeah, I mean that was the that was the the guy. You know, there's gotta be more. That was the guy responsible for everything. Oh hi. But we still <laughs> gotta get to the top of this tower. There's Koshi. And there's Koshi. So we we just we just fucking out survived. The the guy who's been doing this yes. forever. Yes. The concept of human personality is gone. Huh. I want that. Okay. And as Koshi says, we live on. So machines. The network. Fuck that. Koshi. Whatever remnants of the network are left, the androids, everything. It's living on past. This is messed up. What the hell is this thing going on about? Analysis. It appears to be a leak of the enemy's past memories. How far are they fucking going, dude? We're going up. Ow! We're going- we are going to the top. I know, but like, how deep does this go, Yoko Taro? <laughs> okay, bye. Well, um... You know. Um, so, uh, I can't There's explain- Oh, hey, look! And there he goes. That was a good transition. There we go. Let's do some shmups. Um, so this, so you basically know, um, that whole thing. Uh, the Project Yorha was created by this entity, which um, I believe the internet has dubbed N1. Uh huh. I'm not entirely sure why. It was created by this entity, and oh hey, it's Roshi. It's a different one. Yeah, that is. It's Master Roshi. Koshi and Roshi. Um, Project Yorha was created by this entity uh, as a means to evolve. Uh -huh. To become something more. Is an R1. Or is that when did this entity? When did this enti entity show up? Uh, when the aliens did, they created it. Oh. Okay. They created this thing as so part of the network. Killed, did he... Well, he would be part of the machine, so he ended up killing them in the process. Yes. He's responsible for... Uh, huh. N1 is responsible for the alien's death. And we're back here. Fuck. Um, and he decided that without a... Shortly after the fucking shortly, aliens, dude. The first aliens of all, first of all, sucked. oh yeah, dude. No, they fucking sucked. Uh, shortly after the aliens' death, they discovered the existence of the human server. Uh huh. Uh, they deem they they found the human server, found out that all humans were dead, and yep. realized we don't have an enemy to fight. Then, uh, the the discovery of humans being dead was also found out by some androids, and they dis they they saw that android morale was weakening. Yeah. Very rapidly. So they decided, well, let's give them something to fight for. And then create the facade and they created, of humans. They created Project Yorha and using the human server, sent messages to Yorha. Yeah. Dummy messages. Dummy messages that the commander was fully aware that they were dummy. Oh, well, yeah probably sure. believe that they were just whatever remnants the humans left behind. I thought she had full knowledge about it. No. She had no idea that Project Yorha was a dummy project. Oh. She fully believed... Oh, well, oh she knew that the human... The she knew humans of humanity were was... Yeah, she knew that was... was yeah. She... Because Project, not Project Yorha, Yorha created the, the uh, Committee of Humanity. Yeah. So she knew that humans were gone, but she didn't know that Project Yorha was this dummy program. Yeah. I that well, the, I wouldn't expect that the her machines to, created. honestly. No, that would be stupid for them to tell her that. Um, 
so they did that. Um, and the reasoning that... Well, the reasoning that the commander went along with it was, like she said, we need a god to fight for. Yeah. We need to keep our morality up, because if we don't have something to fight for, because that's what we, we were designed to do, if we don't have something to fight for, we'll fall into despair. And... I yeah. just killed myself. It's pretty reasonable. Well. I hope I don't have to do everything over again. Um. No. They wouldn't, yeah, they wouldn't have me so. go through this. My bad. Well. Whenever you, uh, if we're back at the beginning. Yeah, we're back at the beginning. Yeah, we're going to have to go let's, through. Uh, let's cut. I know A2 doesn't have a whole lot of personality, but I really ended up liking her. I like her a lot, actually. She's kind of she's kind of a badass bitch, you know. I actually liked her like as soon as we got her, because she was like, because four uh, two was like, please state your intentions, and she's just like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, <laughs> she shut the fuck up. He's like, just keeps asking her, please state <laughs> your intentions, and I'll shut up. She's like, just shut the fuck up. I'm going to kill all I'm, the machines. Are you happy? <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm going to kill all machines. Okay. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I love Pod042. He's got a lot of personality awesome. just for a pod. Yeah, he's, he's super great. cool. 153 doesn't get enough screen time. Yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't have, like, she's very Kudere. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's the worst thing you've ever said. Hey, we're back. Hey, we did it. Roshi. You son of a bitch. This time All I right, won't so. die. What the I fuck promise. was I saying? Um, I was saying stuff about the commander, like, wanting to fight because they need gods. Because um, that's all they were programmed to do. Um, so they made uh, uh, Project Yorha as a means to get stronger, to evolve all machine life forms. Uh, and it was a rousing success. Um, machine life forms have been evolving in leaps and bounds ever since. Okay. Even and, more. Um, and uh junk. speculation it is a resource of some kind used to make what uh, no. hi guys hey buddy ow yeah, you should probably shoot those shields i got shockwave our shockwave that'll work um Uh, but yeah, they, they did that. Um, they have been responsible for the war perpetuating. And, uh, the second secret, which, a second truth that I was talking about. The first truth is that, uh, through this adventure, you've been finding out things about the true nature of the machine wars and Project Yorha and all that. The first yeah. truth that you learned was a while ago. In that the black box installed in each of our android is actually made of the same materials as machine cores. Yep. Um, which means that androids and machines are based on the same architecture, similar architecture. Uh, android and machines are not so different from each other. Um, the difference is what I explained earlier, where androids are meant to be disposed. Mm -hmm. They're hey. meant to be killed. Hey um, which is why androids actually have less sophisticated uh, less sophisticated AI than machines do um, it's much harder for androids to break out of their uh, their programming basically yeah it's going to be tough to actually hit them with shockwave because you're moving and mm -hmm. your shockwave doesn't keep your m momentum for some reason. Yeah. Which is really annoying. I got it. Sort of. Um, no. Uh, oh, there we with go. With this, uh, knowing this information, this explains Ooh. why they were able to create a uh, logic virus that was so potent. Because mm -hmm. they know how androids are built. Made. Yeah. Um... Oh god, what is uh The other thing is that uh, the machines that you see broken off from the network, those are not um, accidents. 
in an attempt to evolve and learn more about how they can grow as a life form, as a species, essentially, they allowed numerous amounts of machines to disconnect from the yeah, network to, oh, yeah, and observe what they did, what they do. The first of which uh, was the Forest King. The Forest King. Uh, that was hundreds broke of off. years ago, too. It was hundreds of years ago, yeah. Forest King broke off and created a kingdom within the forests near the city ruins. Um, and uh, they turned into a republic, or uh, a kingdom of loyalty, and and uh, driven driven by their their loyalty for their king. It was uh, an interesting experiment that they got to look at. Um, the other, I know Pascal was also one of them. Obviously, Pascal was one of the machines that was able to break off. Um, there was one more that I'm forgetting. Jean Paul. <laughs> He's part of Pascal's village. Yeah, I know. Simone. Um, Simone was definitely one of them. Well, that whole amusement park, really. Yeah. Uh, the entire amusement park was had broken off. Uh, so that was just all to see if they could evolve. All of that, just try different things and see where their their life forms could go. What the? I don't even Ooh, know what you, just you happened. Pressed R1, you pressed R1 and X at the same time. Does that That's happen? That's what you did. Yes. Oh. It's a long jump. I've never done that before. <laughs> I didn't know that until I looked up stuff. And I'm like, how are they doing that? Okay. Oh, this, is a, this is a tough this fight. This is a fight. This is a fight. This is the fight we wanted. Yeah. Oh, there he go. Where you going? You get in there. Look at Roshi. As the stars sing a song, dedicate now. We are machines. We are machines. You are androids. You are androids. Each will embrace. Don't deflect. Why do you live? Why do we exist? Have a sun. Night. The light. We will soar through the sky. Oh, wow. I I don't know if you caught it, but um, there's also some stuff with the pods. I was a little distracted. Um, you remember you remember when they were, well no not just now. Oh. But, um, you know that they were basically saying we're gonna exchange data. Do you wonder what that is? I assumed it was just the data that they accumulated. It's an in lore reason for why nine S and two B's levels are shared. Oh yeah, I was told that. Yeah, that's so that's that. Um. Otherwise, they've just been observing. Uh, for some reason. <laughs> now, God the pods... Sick. Yeah, look at them go! Uh, the pods are part of Project Yorha. Yeah. Just bear that in mind. So they were all... Well, whether they know... Whether the pods knew... They could use them as, like, whether the data well, Whether gathering. the pods knew... Yeah, they could totally... Whether the pods knew that they were, you know, that pro what project to, you know, we don't know exactly to what extent the pods knew about <laughs> Project okay. Yorha. Mm -hmm. Um, but it could, but they, there's a lot we don't know about the pods. Yeah. They could very well be data gathering bots that feed info to the that tower. That would be my first guess, honestly. And we'll go back to 9S. Eat that. Oh, yeah. That was a good hit. Yeah. There you go. They go. They go. They go. Okay. We're going oh, yeah. fast. Back to A2. We're, we're going fast. We're going fast. Kill it. It, it. it left. Hi. Come on. 
We're going hard. I'm back again. Aw, oh, damn it. I was gonna try and do the thing. Oh, you don't have the skill back. No. Oh my god, dude. Back again. This is fast. This is a really cool fight. It's really cool. Do you notice that you're so high up in this tower and it's so large that there are clouds? Yes. Inside. Eat that. There you go. I might have killed one. Yeah. Maybe. There he is. Yeah, ignore. Ignore the tails. If you can. If they if they start becoming a problem. This, it's so fast, dude. Mm hmm Get him. I think they're waiting for me to kill him on this side. <laughs> if you need to, you've got to remember Berserk mode. Fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> God Ow. damn it. Well, you know, maybe you'll be in it when you get back. Maybe. Maybe. You just got to remember to pop some healing out of oh. while you're in Berserk mode. Oh! Yeah. Not now. Not now. <laughs> Look at Now's that. Now's not the time. Oh, she's in it. She's in berserk mode. Oh, no. Dude, no way. Yeah, fight with Let's me, go. boy. Okay. Just needed to see oh, where my health it. was at. You got it. Ow. You gotta be careful. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I had to do that quick. Nope. Nope. Ah. It was arms. It's like crab. That is a crab. This is a hardcore fight. Oh, what the? It is. Oh, dude, that's sick. Oh, oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> I uh, same thing. This is a wipe. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Probably? Unless you're really cool about your... Ooh! Ooh! That was fucking clutch. It was pretty clutch. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Friggin' arrows. I hate the purple. Get him. There we go. Whew. We're going back. We're back. We that is a hardcore fucking transition. I didn't even realize I went back. <laughs> so you, can't, you can't touch it. You gotta, you gotta do something else. Maybe hit the plates? I don't know. Yeah, I see that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. There you go. Get in there. We're back. <laughs> oh, just in time. I'll hack my way to victory. It's fine. That's easy mode. Hacker man. Hackerman. Error. Hacked too much time. God, you don't even know where that's from. That's the weird thing. That, You're right. That that reference has, has gone beyond. Plus Ultra. Plus Ultra. <laughs>
Boss Ultra! I will make you into the greatest hero ever, young Midoriya. I do just I love to, hearing Christopher Sabat say Do Midoriya. I have to go through this shit to do it? <laughs> yeah. Dude, we're oh. almost. Almost. Oh, you went back. And no, it's I'm electric. back again. Ah! Easy mode. Easy mode? Oh, I like this one. That was super easy mode. Kind of. It's gonna get bigger. Yeah, boy. Can't even touch me. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah. You touch me. Speed. You got him. There you go. That was a fight. Oh. Show. God, nine. This is sick. Alright guys. Just he posed. Don't fight. <laughs> Don't fight.